In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. In our spiritual life, we have basically three enemies that we have to encounter. The devil, the flesh, and the world. These are the three enemies to our spiritual progress. The devil, the flesh, and the world. Just talk briefly about how we can overcome that enemy, which we call the devil. Now, I'd like to give you three suggestions. And basically, it's by looking at the life of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus says that he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the master. He's the teacher. And as the book of Hebrews says, we have to keep our eyes fixed on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who perfects our faith. So if we go into the, the desert, we contemplate Christ. This is always the first gospel for the um, first Sunday of Lent. And we see Jesus doing three things that we have to try to imitate so that we can indeed conquer the devil in our lives. And never forget that God is much more powerful than the devil. If we think too much about the devil, then we actually empower the devil. However, these are the three tools that our Lord used and we should use so that we can overcome the devil in our lives. The first is our Lord spent 40 days and 40 nights in, in prayer. But it was, a, it was a fervent prayer. We have to beg the Holy Spirit to give us fervor in our prayer life. Because one thing is to pray in a distracted, lazy, tepid way. Another one is to pray with fervor. So ask the Holy Spirit to give you fervor in your prayer life. Second is that our Lord practiced penance. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. So we have to enter into our spiritual battle using the, the arm of penance. Jesus said, if you want to be my disciple, you must deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow after me. And the last is that our Lord actually used the word of God. The devil came after Jesus, quoting passages of the Bible from the Old Testament, and our Lord responded also with the Bible itself. And finally, let's turn to Mary. Mary can help us to overcome the devil in our lives. So hopefully this teaching will help you out. We're all, we're all in battle. Our life is a spiritual combat. And we can overcome the devil by fervent prayer, by the practice of penance, and by using the Word of God, and of course through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.